And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a spiral of circles. Let us first create a spiral and a circle. For the spiral we've got this tool. Just drag it. Let me move that downwards. And when you've got this tool active, so the spiral tool, you've got the top menu where you can adjust the turns. So let me make it a bit smaller. So we've got less turns. And the divergence, you can see it pushes these inner circles out and inwards. Let me get to a value, something around that. Should be fine. Now let me create a circle. I go to a 45 degree angle when I drag that and I hold control. Let me make it black with the bottom swatches. I don't want to have a stroke, so I hold shift and click on the X. Before I do something, make sure that your circle is on top in the hierarchy. So use the top menu when a cursor to is active, click on it. Select it all, go to Extensions, Generate from Path, and Pattern along Path. Check the Live Preview. And you can see that this object is placed on the path, which is the spiral. Let me change the copies of the pattern with the drop down to repeat it. And you can see this is almost what we want to have, but it's way too big. So let me size that down, holding Control and Shift. And I go to Extensions, Generate from Path, and Pattern along Path again. I'll check the live preview and this is what we wanted. You can also stretch it, but in this case it doesn't really make a difference because there is no space to be filled by stretching it. There's a different deformation type, so snake and ribbon. Ribbon creates this effect, so it puts it in a different dimension you could say. For the most part you want to stick to snake. can adjust the space, so right now all of these circles are placed right next to each other. Let me increase that. And now we've got a little bit of spacing in between them. Let me go to 1. You can create an offset. Right now the path is in the center of the circle. And if we create an offset, you can see that the path is now at the bottom of the circle. So this is what this function is for. You don't have to check the pattern is vertical, it's a circle. It wouldn't make a difference. And if you uncheck the last box, you can get rid of the original circle that we've created. We don't need it anymore. Click on apply. And now you can drag this circle spiral out of there and delete the path. And this is how you can create a spiral made of circles in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.